Alrighty, folks, it's me again, VB7200. This is actually like my fir third take of this video, basically. First time, I couldn't get to do it, what I wanted to do. Second time, I kept doing that to the microphone, I won't do that again. And this time, I don't know if anything's going to go wrong, hopefully nothing. But anyways, today we're taking a look at one way to severely mess up Windows XP. This happens to be... XP Professional. I'll show you guys real quick. Where the hell is the computer? There it is. I, don't, I did command and I'm supposed to, or control, I gotta do command. Fuck, I'm sorry. I don't have a left click or right click on this mouse because it's a MacBook. I do two fingers, I forgot about that. Anyways. There you go, you got Microsoft Windows XP Professional, Service Pack 3, blah blah blah. Okay. So, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys one way to kind of I guess render the computer unusable. Basically, I'm going to show you guys how to delete the fonts. Now, not just the fonts in Word or whatever. I'm going to show you guys how to actually delete the system fonts. And basically what that does is all these menus will no longer have basically words next to them. It'll just be pictures. Or icons, rather. And doing that, will obviously, you can't read the menus, so you don't really know what you're clicking on. So anyways, the easy way to do that, if you guys have a... Um, administrative account on the computer, or you're in the system account, is to go to, I keep doing a control panel, you want to go to my computer, you want to go to local disk, show contents of this folder, go to the Windows directory, look at that folder too, and look for the fonts folder, which is right here. You, if it's not there, it is, I just scroll around till you find it, it should be right around here though. Here, double click it, and you're going to do control A, and you're going to go up here to file and delete. Now, you click delete, you get this little message. I'm not going to do it right now because you have to do, if you don't have an administrative account, you have to do a couple other things to get into, or be able to do it rather. So, I have the taskbar down here, silver for a reason. You'll see that soon. So, basically, you're going to go to run, and you're going to type in cmd, which will basically open up the command prompt. And in here, you're going to type at, and then in 24-hour time or military time, however you call it, you're going to type in a time that you want to run another command prompt, or basically open up another command prompt window. So for me, I'm going to type 1933, which would translate to about 733. And then you're going to type slash interactive. You do space, and in quotes, you're going to put cmd.exe. Look over that, make sure it's all right, and you're just going to press enter. And you'll get this little message down here, added a new job with job ID number one. So basically what's going to happen at 7.33, another command prompt window is going to open up. And it's not going to say documents and settings slash Vinny, which is what my user is on the hard drive. It's going to say Windows in all caps slash System32. And basically that is a way to open or get into system and basically what we're going to do once the other command prompt window is going to open, you're going to right click taskbar. Oh wait, capture keeps going up. You're going to go to task manager and you're going to go to processes and you're going to look for the explorer process, which is right here. And once the other command prompt window opens up, we're going to kill the process and basically the taskbar down here is going to disappear. And... I'll show you guys what to do next if it loads up. Once 733 rolls around. By the way, the OS time and OS 10 is actually right, and Windows is wrong because it's a screenshot. Oh, there we go. Anyways, I don't recommend you do this on an actual computer, by the way. I mean, you could if you wanted to really screw with someone or if you don't, don't care about the computer anymore. But if you do this on a real computer, this is in uh, VirtualBox for my Mac. But if you do this on a real computer, to get the fonts back, you're either going to have to find them online, which, you're, as you see, is going to get pretty hard, or you're going to have to install the system fonts if you had the disk, the um, XP install disk, or you have it on a thumb drive or whatever. So once this command prompt opens up, we're going to go to Task Manager, we're going to kill the Explorer process, click Yes, and that task bar goes away. So now we're going to close out this window here, you don't need it anymore, and you're going to type in explorer.exe in this window. Press enter. 
and you're going to get personalized settings here, and you're going to see why I have it as silver in a second. It goes back to the blue outline, and you get a whole new taskbar pops up, and you see up here it says System as your name. Now basically what we can do here is we can minimize these windows. I don't know if you need these open, I'm just keeping them open to be safe. I don't care if my computer's at risk. I don't care if I have a tour of Windows XP. And you're going to go to my computer and do the same things before to get to the fonts folder. And you're going to double click fonts and you're going to do control A. File. Delete. Say yes. And you're going to get all these folders gone here. And you see here, you got the question mark there, and there's a recycle bin down here, as you can see. Whenever you're on the desktop, it's a little messed up. Now, this, here you're going to get more fonts, you're going to do Control a you're going to do the same thing. Now, basically what these here are, I believe they're actually like the core fonts of XP, like all these, the fonts down here in the menus and everything, I think that's what these are. So once you delete these, everything should go away pretty much at least that's what should happen if it doesn't I don't know why now this has different effects on the computer I guess it's never the same thing like now as you can see whenever I go over it's just giving me this gibberish as you can see but I did this before and all the fonts were gone basically and by that I mean they there was nothing there they were all blank you couldn't read anything. We're going to go back into that. As you can see, we're going to go back in my computer. Local disk. Windows. Fonts folder. You can see they keep replacing themselves. We're going to do control A again. And we're going to delete them again. Let's see if I can get the same thing. When I did this before, basically an error message popped up. It had no, no text in it. And... Basically, all these were disappearing. I wish I took a screenshot of that. That's what I should have done. But, let's open up Internet Explorer. See what happens. You get all this gibberish here. All this is gibberish. So, this is one outcome that can happen. And I'm going to show you guys another outcome that can happen. Alrighty, so I managed to recreate what I did last time, and this is what I'm talking about what happened. All I did was go to the fonts folder, same thing I did last time, and I hit delete. The only thing I did different was I tried deleting the fonts folder through command prompt. By doing, you basically just type DL, or DEL space, and you type the directory for the fonts folder, which I believe is like, C, let me look here. It should say in command prompt, this is the wrong one. The, the where the hell it go? There it is. It's C colon slash windows slash fonts, and this happened. And basically, it denied my access for some reason. And when I did it this way. This happened. I'm just press OK. I'm going to delete these fonts again. And this deleted all the fonts. As you can see, back is gone. The menus are all gone. The name, even the freaking time's gone. Start menu's gone. And for some of these guys keep coming back. Delete them again. Yes. And close this so hopefully you don't come back. Basically, they all just sit in the recycling bin, believe it or not. And start, all these menus are absolutely gone. Uh, when you open up Internet Explorer, you get this lovely screen. With the buttons on this side and oh god and basically all the fonts that are not embedded in the system they just get kind of messed up a little bit like this is all bolded it shouldn't be bolded i think it's a little different font too let's see google.com i spelled google wrong see suggestions don't even pop up and this is what you get so yeah i mean I mean, it's pretty devastating to a system, unless you know where to get the fonts back. Thankfully, I don't. But thankfully, for these, I have the system, or I have the screens, or snapshots. So I can just restore the system, keep restoring it, and keep doing stuff. 
but the command prompt must have its font somewhere else because you can still do stuff in here. And let's see, run does it even the dialogues for run? You can't even inside the system. Whenever you type, you can't type. I guess <laughs> hard to explain. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more ways to break Windows XP and other versions of Windows. Thanks for watching.